Weight and balance data. Weight and balance data can be obtained from the aircraft specifications, the aircraft operating limitations, the aircraft flight manual, the aircraft weight and balance report, terminology. In the study of weight and balance principles, computation, and control, it is necessary to know the meaning of the term used. The following terminology is used in the practical application of weight and balance control, and should be thoroughly studied. The datum. The arm. The moment. Center of gravity. Maximum weight. Empty weight. Useful load. Empty weight center of gravity. Empty weight center of gravity range. Operating center of gravity range. Mean aerodynamic cord. Aircraft leveling means. Weighing points. Zero fuel weight. Minimum fuel. Full oil. Tari weight. The datum. The datum is an imaginary vertical plane from which all horizontal measurements are taken for balance purposes. With the aircraft in level flight attitude, the datum location is indicated on most aircraft specifications. Once the datum is selected it must be properly identified so that anyone who reads the figures will have no doubts about the exact location. There is no fixed rule for the location of the datum. In most cases it is located on the nose of the aircraft or some point on the aircraft structure. The manufacturer has the choice of locating the datum where it is most convenient. Of measurement, locating equipment, and weight and balance. Computation, the arm. The arm is the horizontal distance that an item of equipment is located from the datum. The arm's distance is always given or measured in inches. The arm distance which might be exactly on the datum, zero. The algebraic sign is plus if measured after the datum. The algebraic sign is minus if measured forward of the datum, the moment. A moment is the product of a weight multiplied by its arm. The moment of an item about the datum is obtained by multiplying the weight of the item by its horizontal distance from the datum. The moment of an item about CG can be computed by multiplying its weight by the horizontal distance from CG. For example, a 20-pound weight located 30 inches from the datum would have a moment of 20 multiplied 30 or 600 lb.in. Whether the value of 600 lb.in is preceded by a plus or minus sign, any item of weight added to the aircraft either side of datum is plus weight. Any weight item removed is a minus weight. When multiplying a weight by an arm, the resulting moment is plus if sign are alike. And minus if signs are unlike. Center of gravity. The C.G of an aircraft is a point about which the nose heavy and tail heavy moments are exactly equal in magnitude. An aircraft suspended from this point would have no tendency to rotate in either a nose up or nose down attitude. It is the point about which the weight of an airplane. Maximum weight. The maximum weight is the maximum authorized weight of the aircraft and its contents and is indicated in the specifications. For many aircraft there are variation to the max allowable weight, depending on the purpose and condition under which the aircraft is to be flown. Certain aircraft may be allowed a maximum gross weight of 2,750 pounds when flown in the normal category, but when flown in the utility category, the same aircraft. Maximum allowable gross weight would be 2,715 pounds. Empty weight. The empty weight of an aircraft includes all operating equipment that has a fixed location and is actually installed in the aircraft. It included the weight of the airframe, power plant, required equipment, fixed ballast, hydraulic fuel and residual fuel and oil. Residual fuel and oil. Residual fuel and oil are the fluids that will not normally drain out because they are trapped in the fuel lines, oil lines and tanks. They must be included in the aircraft's empty weight. 
useful load. Determined by subtracting the empty weight from maximum allowable gross weight. An aircraft with an empty weight of 900 pounds will have a useful load of 850 pounds. Useful load consists of Maximum oil Fuel Passengers Baggage Pilot Co-pilot Crew members Empty weight center of gravity EWCG. It is the CG of an aircraft in its empty weight condition. It is an essential part of the weight and balance record of the aircraft. Empty weight center of gravity range. It is an allowable variation of travel within the CG limits. The inspiration of items not listed in the specification will not permit use of this range. Operating center of gravity range. It is the distance between the forward and rearward CG limits indicated in the pertinent aircraft specification or type certificate data sheets. This limits are shown in either percent of mech, mean aerodynamic cord, or inches from the datum of the aircraft. The loaded aircraft CG location must remain within these limits at all times. Mean aerodynamic cord. It is the average cord of the wing. An airfoil section is a cross-section of a wing from leading to trailing edge. A cord is usually defined as an imaginary straight line drawn parallel to the airfoil through the leading and trailing edges of the section. The aircraft CG is usually placed at the maximum forward position of the center of pressure on the MAC to obtain the desired stability. The location of the MAC, in relation to the datum is given in aircraft specifications or type certificate data sheet weight and balance report or aircraft flight manual compute the CG location and percent of Mac H equals distance from the datum to the EWCG X equals distance from the datum to the Mac leading edge C equals length of Mac CG in percent of Mac equals H minus X divided by C multiplied by 100. Aircraft leveling means. Reference points are provided for leveling the aircraft on ground. They are designed by the manufacturer and are indicated in the pertinent aircraft specification. The most common leveling procedure is to place a spirit level of designated points on the aircraft structure. Some aircraft have special leveling scales built into the airframe structure. The scale used with a plumb bob to level the aircraft longitudinally and laterally. Wing points. The point on the scale at which the weight is concentrated is called wing point. The wing point should be clearly indicated in the weight and balance sheet. Zero fuel weight. The maximum allowable weight of a loaded aircraft without fuel all weights in the excess of the zero fuel weight must consist of usable fuel, minimum fuel. It is the amount of fuel that must be shown on the weight and balance report when the airplane is loaded for an extreme condition check. Reciprocating engine it's calculated by minimum fuel equals 1 by 2 LB per engine horsepower. HP multiplied 1 by 2 equals minimum fuel 1200 multiplied 1 by 2 equals 600 lb fuel this will be the minimum pounds of fuel required for the forward or rearward weight check for turbine engine minimum fuel load is specified by the aircraft manufacturer when the forward weight check is performed if the fuel tanks are located forward of forward CG limit, they are assumed to be full. If they are located aft of the forward CG limit, they assume to be empty. If the minimum fuel required for a particular aircraft exceeds the capacity of the tanks located forward of the forward CG limit, the excess fuel must be loaded in the tanks that are aft of the forward CG limit. Full oil. Full oil is the quantity of oil shown as oil capacity in aircraft specifications. When an aircraft with full oil tanks is weighed, the weight of the oil must be subtracted from the recorded reading to arrive at the actual empty weight. 
The weight and balance report must show whether includes full oil or if the oil tanks were drained. Tari weight. Tari includes the weight of all extra items, such as jacks, blocks, and chocks. On the weighing scale platform, except that to the item being weighed, aircraft weighing procedure. Please refer FA 9A figure 3-6 page number 60 to understand more clearly. Weighing an aircraft. Weighing an aircraft is a very important and exacting phase of aircraft maintenance and must be carried out with accuracy and good workmanship. To begin, assemble all necessary equipments, such as scales, hosting equipment, jacks, and leveling equipment, blocks, chocks, for holding the airplane on the scales, straight edge, spirit level, plumb bobs, chalk line, measuring tape, applicable aircraft specification and weight and balance computation forms. If possible, aircraft should be weighed in a closed building where there are no air current to cause incorrect reading. An outside wing is permissible if wind and moisture are negligible. Prepare aircraft for weighing. Drain the fuel system until the quantity indication reads zero, or empty. Only trapped or unusable fuel is considered part of the aircraft empty weight. Fuel tank caps should be on the tank or placed as close as possible to their correct locations, so that the weight distribution will be correct. Some aircraft may be weighed with the fuel tanks full, provided a means of determining the exact weight of the fuel is available. If possible, drain all engine oil from the oil tanks. The system should be drained with all drain valve open. Under this condition, the amount of oil remaining in the oil tank, lines and engine is termed residual oil and is included in the empty weight. The position of such items as spoilers, slats, flaps and helicopter rotor systems is an important factor when weighing an aircraft. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for the proper position of these items. Hydraulic reservoirs and systems should be filled. Drinking and washing water reservoirs and lavatory tanks should be drained. Constant speed drive oil tank should be filled. Inspect the aircraft to see that all items included in the certified empty weight are installed in proper location. Remove items that are not regularly carried in flight. Replace all inspection plates, oil and fuel tank caps, junction box covers, cowling, door, emergency exit, and other parts that have been removed. Remove excessive dirt, oil, grease and moisture from aircraft. Properly calibrate, zero and use the weighing scales in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. When weighing an aircraft with the wheels placed on the scales, release the brakes to reduce the possibility of incorrect reading caused by side loads on the scales measurement. The distance from the datum to main weighing point center line, and the distance from the main weighing point center line to tail weighing point center line must be known to determine THCG relative to the main weighing point and datum. Empty weight. The empty weight of the aircraft is determined by adding the net weight on each weighing point. The net weight is the actual scale reading, less the tower weight, empty weight CG. The CG location is found through the progressive use of two formulas. First calculate the total moments using the following formulas. Moment equals arm multiplied by weight. Then divided the sum of the moments by the total weights involved. CG equals total moment divided by total weight. Consequently, the CG has weighed and result is in from the datum here in this case 57.67 inch. Since the aircraft was weighed with the oil tank full, it is necessary to remove the oil to obtain the empty weight and empty weight CG. Again using the formula. CG equals total moment divided by total weight. Then we will get the EWCG is located inch aft of the datum.
Weight and Balance Extreme Conditions The Weight and Balance Extreme Conditions represents the maximum forward and rearward CG position for the aircraft forward weight and balance check. To make this check, the following information is needed. 1. The weight, arm, and moment of the empty aircraft. 2. The maximum weights, arms, and moments of the items of useful load that are located ahead of the forward CG limit. 3. The minimum weights, arms, and moments of the items of useful load that are located aft of the forward CG limit. Rearward Weight and Balance Check To establish that neither the maximum weight nor the rearward CG limit is exceeded, the following information is needed. 1. The weight, arm, and moment of the empty aircraft. 2. The maximum weights, arms, and moments of the items of useful load that are located aft of the rearward CG limit. 3. The minimum weights, arms, and moments of the items of useful load that are located ahead of the rearward CG limit. Installation of ballast. Ballast is used in an aircraft to attain the desired CG balance. It is usually located as far aft or as far forward as possible to bring the CG within limits using a minimum amount of weight. Ballast that is installed to compensate for the removal or installation of equipment items and that is to remain in the aircraft for long periods is called permanent ballast. It is generally lead bars or plates bolted to the aircraft structure. It may be painted red and placarded. Permanent ballast, do not remove. In most cases, the installation of permanent ballast results in an increase in the aircraft empty weight. Temporary ballast, or removable ballast, is used to meet certain loading conditions that may vary from time to time. It generally takes the form of lead shot bags, sandbags, or other weight items that are not permanently installed. Temporary ballast should be placarded. Ballast pounds removal requires weight and balance check. The baggage compartment is usually the most convenient location for temporary ballast. Formula. Ballast weight needed. Weight of aft as loaded multiplied distance out of limits divided by arm from variable weight location to limit affected. Inserting in the formula the applicable values. Weight of the aircraft as loaded equals 1907.5. Distance out of limit equals plus 1.7 in. Arm from variable weight location to the limit affected equals 53.5 in. We obtain the following. 1907.5 multiplied by 1.7 divided by 53.5 equals 60.6 lbs. Ballast weight needed in the baggage compartment. Maximum load conditions. The maximum allowable gross weight is exceeded by 10.5 pounds. In this case a number of alternatives are available to remedy this overloaded condition without appreciably reducing the aircraft payload or flight range, as follows. Alternative no. 1. Reduce baggage by 10.5 pounds. Alternative no. 2. Reduce fuel by 10.5 pounds, or 1.75 gals. Alternative no. 3. Reduce passenger load by one passenger. Compute a new CG position for each alternate loading arrangement. Loading graphs and CG envelopes. The weight and balance computation system, commonly called the loading graph and CG envelope system, is an excellent and rapid method for determining the CG location for various loading arrangements. This method can be applied to any make and model of aircraft. Helicopter Weight and Balance Each model helicopter is certified for a specific maximum gross weight. However, it cannot be operated at this maximum weight under all condition. Combination of high altitude, high temperature and high humidity determine the density altitude at a particular location, this, in turn, critically affects the hovering, 
takeoff, climb, auto rotation and landing performance of a helicopter. A heavily loaded helicopter has less ability to withstand shocks and additional loads caused by turbulent air. The heavier the load, the less the margin of safety supporting structures, such as the main rotor, fuselage, landing gear etc. Most helicopters have a much more restricted CG range than do airplanes. In some cases this range is less than 3 inches. Fuselage acts as a pendulum suspended from rotor. Any change in the center of gravity changes the angle at which it hangs from this point of support. If the CG is too far aft, the nose tilts up, and excessive forward cyclic control is required to maintain a stationary hover. If CG is too far, the nose tilts down and excessive aft cyclic control is required.